गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स यू आर वॉचिंग योर फेवरेट यूट्यूब चैनल प्राइमरी के पंख विथ तारकेश्वर पांडे आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू नो अबाउट आवर चैप्टर नंबर सिक्सटीन एंड द नेम ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इज कम्युनिकेशन कम्युनिकेशन इज द नेम ऑफ दिस चैप्टर सो बी रेडी and now i am going to show you some pictures are you looking these pictures on your mobile screen very good now i hope you are able to say the name of these things you can say the name of these things easily but can you say what are the uses of these things absolutely you can say the uses of some things but you are not able to say some uses of other things so in our today's chapter we will know about many interesting things related to communication so be ready and now try to understand this chapter when we talk or write to someone it is known as communication it means you can see talking or writing is called communication talking or writing is called communication so we can say that when we talk or write to someone it is called communication we use different means of communication to exchange messages with each other so let us know about some means of communication and their uses also number 1 postcard or letters we write letters to our friends and relatives and we drop these letters or postcard in letter box the postman delivers letters to our homes so now we are going to know about some uses of letters or postcard number 1 we write letters to our friends and relatives for seeing our messages number 2 we write short messages on postcard number 3 we write the address of us on the place of sender and we write the address of our relatives or friends on the place of receiver we also write pin code pin p i n pin stands for postal index number pin is found generally of six digits in our country india okay now we are going to know about some other means of communication we talk to people far away by using a telephone or a mobile phone a mobile phone can be carried anywhere so now we are going to know some uses of telephone number 1 we use telephone for talking to a far person number 2 we dial a number by telephone for talking the persons number 3 a telephone has a receiver to hear and to talk now we are going to know some uses of mobile phone because you all are aware about mobile phone so i hope you can also say some uses of mobile phones so think some uses of mobile phones and now i am going to say some uses of mobile phones match your thinking with the uses of mobile phones number 1 mobile phone is used for talking to our friends relatives or any person number 2 mobile phone is used for sending text messages and receiving text messages number 3 mobile phone is used for reading email and sending email number 4 mobile phone is used for using internet 
Number five, mobile phone is used for using as an alarm clock. Number six, mobile phone is used for checking the time as a watch. Number seven, mobile phone is used for using as calculator. Number eight, mobile phone is used for social networking sites like Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, etc. Number nine, mobile phone is used for playing different games. And number ten, mobile phone is used for online reading. I hope you are aware about some uses of mobile phone and after knowing these 10 uses now you can say 10 uses of mobile phones easily now we are going to know about some other means of communication we can communicate through emails by using a computer laptops are light computers they are easy to carry so now I am going to say some uses of computer or laptops. Number one, computer is used for playing computer games. Computer is also used for typing. This is the use number two. Computer is used for typing. Number three, computer is used for watching videos. Number four, computer is used for listening to music and audio. Number five, computer is used for editing of audio, video and photo. Number six, computer is used for communicating with other people. Number seven, computer is used for drawing and painting. Number eight, Computer is used for internet. Number nine, computer is used for audio recording. Number 10, computer is also used for online reading. These all uses are also common for laptop. So we can do all the work of computers by using laptop. Now we are going to know about some other means of communication and our next means is fax. A fax helps us to send messages fast. It is connected to the telephone. We can send any picture or any page of the book from one place to another place by using a fax machine. So fax machine is also a means of communication and we can send any picture, any piece of book or any drawing or painting from one place to another place by using fax machine. So now we are going to know about some other means of communication. We can communicate with a large number of people through the radio, television and newspapers. We can listen to music and news on the radio. Television is a very popular medium. We can hear the sounds as well as see the pictures on television. Newspapers tell us about the things all over the world. So now I am going to share some uses of radio. Number one. Radio is used to convey information from one place to another place. Number two, radio is used to listen music and song. Number three, radio is used to listen news or sports commentary. Number four, radio is used to know about different report like weather report, market report, etc. Now I am going to see some uses of TV, it means television. So now know about some uses of television. 
Number 1. Television is used to watch and listen news. Number 2. Television is used to watch song, movies and dances. Number 3. Television is used to watch sports and games. Number 4. Television is used to play different games. And number 5. Television is used to type letters. So you can also see television is used for learning about typing. So these are some means of communication and we have known about these all means of communication. Now I am going to say in brief about these all means of communication. When we talk or write to someone, it is called communication. So we can say in easy language, talking or writing to someone is called communication. Talking or writing to someone is called communication. The postman delivers letters to our homes. Laptops are light computers. Laptops are light computers. And a mobile phone can be carried anywhere. A fax helps us to send messages fast. Newspapers tell us about the things all over the world. So, we have finished this chapter and I hope you have understood about these all means of communication. So, we will meet again in our next video with a new chapter. For that time, revise this chapter carefully and know about the means of communication and also try to know about the uses of each means of communication. So, now I want to wish you all have a great day. Goodbye.